Hi guys, it's Blake Homie. Today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A because I asked you guys some questions on Instagram, so yeah. I look weird with my hair up and I always talk until I run out of breath and I don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> but let's see, first question. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius and I was born in the year of the Ram or something. What's your sexuality? I'm straight, I don't know, I'm a little gay, but I have a very, very, very specific type, so yeah. I think I've only ever liked one girl. What's your favorite tattoo? Um, my favorite tattoo is the giraffe I have on my leg. Do you have Snap? Yeah, I have Snap, it's in my bio and everything on Instagram, and it's in the description. Do you have a favorite animal? Um. Yeah, I think so. I think my favorite animal would probably be... I think my favorite animal would be a lamb or a snake, something like that. Dream job? I think my dream job would probably be a tattoo artist. Because, like, they're pretty well off and, like, I'm good at doing tattoos, so yeah. I'm gonna take this red concealer and kind of cover up my under eye bags. I don't like to overdo this too much because this stuff is very, very pigmented. What are some of your favorite movies and shows? Um, Matilda is one of my favorite movies. Do you, does anyone remember that one Disney movie with the horse that was like Spirit Stallion of the Samara or something? That's one of my favorites. That makes me cry all the time. Um, some of my favorite shows would be Bojack Horseman. Um, I don't have that many favorite shows. Ooh, I love the show White Gold. But yeah, I don't watch TV that often, so I don't really have a lot of favorite shows. If you had the power to change one thing about the world, what would you change? Probably our legal system. Like, I just changed the whole legal system up. Because our legal system is really fucking shitty. What's your favorite meme? Um, probably bottom text. Like, that's been an OG meme for me since like 2015, so I guess I'd say bottom text. Would you get bigger actual tattoos when you're older? I mean, the tattoos I have right now are actual tattoos, so, <laughs> but I think, I'm not sure if I ever plan on getting big tattoos, because I like having really minimalistic tattoos, so yeah, I don't know. When I was younger, I really wanted to get a big ass tattoo on my hip to cover up my birthmark, but now I'm like pretty cool with my birthmark. Top five shows slash movies. I really don't have top five shows. I mean, oh God. Yeah, no, because I just don't watch TV like that. Where do you shop? Um, I, I shop everywhere, like literally. I'll just see a store and I'll be like, mom, we gotta go in there. And I'll go in and like get 25 things. And then I'll, I won't remember the store I got them at. And I'll just be like, darn. What's your, what's your curly hair routine? Currently, I'm just wash it like once a week and put castor oil on it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna contour now, cause why not? I don't know where my contouring brush is. So I'm using a foundation brush and like it works pretty okay. What would be the most extreme piercing you'd ever get? Uh, I guess a tongue piercing is the most extreme piercing I'd ever get. No. I feel like the only real extreme piercings are like bridge piercings. Celeb you'd let knock you up. Um, oh God, this is, I don't know this one dude's name. He was in that one movie, We Need to Talk About Kevin. Let me find him. Ezra Miller. I would 100% let Ezra Miller knock me up. Are you ever gonna make music? Uh, I really don't know, cause I have a lot of songs written in my notes, but every time I like actually um, go to make them, like play the guitar behind it and record my vocals, it's just like, that's crusty as fuck, you know? How old are you? I'm 14 and my birthday is December 9th. 2003. Are you inspired by any social media influencer or celebrities for your style or do you do your own thing? I mean I think I just do my own thing but at the same because I'm poor because like I can't afford what other celebrities are doing 
but at the same time I still kind of do I'm inspired by them but basically I just get whatever I think is cute or really good on me and that's just how I shop so yeah what's your dream vacation um I don't know maybe just like going out in the middle of nowhere and camping there for a while like a month like that would be my dream vacation how do you feel about piercings i think it's pretty obvious how i feel about piercings what's your favorite thing to do when you're bored other than sleep mm -hmm. talk to my friends like just facetiming my friends i love facetiming people i love talking to people i just love human interaction it's my favorite thing ever in the world okay now i'm gonna be doing eyeshadow and i don't know what look i want to go for uh i think i'm gonna do something red yeah okay what's one plus one Jeez, that's a hard one i don't know <laughs> opinions on beans detailed please um so my opinions on beans are beans are just a struggle food and i don't like actually really like beans that much they just they're such a struggle food and i hate how slimy they are and just they're disgusting i hate beans where did you buy your vape slash how much was the mod i bought my vape from a vape shop and the mod was like twenty dollars if you were given three wishes what would you wish for by the way i love you love you too queen um if i had three wishes i don't know if i'd actually wish for anything like i don't know mm. I don't know what I would wish for, like, maybe, I know infinite money would just be, like, an obvious one, and, like, I don't think I need that much money in life, so I'm really not sure what I would wish for. Maybe, like, infinite cat food, and then I'd buy a cat, and life would be really nice. Why do you think people avoid responsibility? Because, obviously, we don't want to be responsible for things, because that makes us responsibility can make you feel guilty and ashamed and shit so like pretty obvious we don't want to do things we just want to slide by in life you know favorite song at the moment um new york i love you but you're bringing me down literally hands down my favorite song right now like i don't know why but i've just been listening to it so much like oh i was making food and i was just New York, I love you, but you're bringing me down. Like, I don't know why I love that song so much. I usually can't get into slow songs, but that's like, mm, that song is a snack. How do you gain and obtain self-love and self-confidence? How have you done it or how are you working on it? You just gotta hype yourself up. Even when you like think you're the grossest person on earth, you gotta be like, damn, I'm such a queen. I did that, like, whoa, oh my God. You gotta constantly hype yourself up and like even then i don't think anyone can have like 100 percent self-love all the time because like we're only human and we get down about shit all the time does your mom let you get tattoos and piercings also like if or <laughs> does your mom let you get tattoos and piercings also like if not or if she did how do you convince her because i really want to get some she lets me get piercings, but she does not let me get tattoos. Um, she doesn't know about my tattoos, so yeah. Um, with piercings, I have a video on how you can convince your parents for piercings. So yeah, I can link that or something. <laughs> what genres of music do you listen to? Uh, shoot, I listen to everything. But lately I've just been really into folk music. So yeah. Can you sing? I don't think so. I mean, I'm okay at singing, but I'm not the best singer. What do you think your purpose in life is? Um, I don't know. I don't think we all necessarily have a purpose. I think we just gotta do what we wanna do. What's the Krabby Patty formula? I don't know, but if I ever learn it, I'll get back to you on that one. What is your definition of a strong woman? I wanted to answer that question. I feel like I'd need to write a five page essay on it. <laughs> what do you think about X's death? I think like the fact that someone shot him 
for like a bag or something that's very stupid like gun violence is just stupid in general what makeup would you recommend what's your favorite products i don't know because like i don't have that much makeup i just buy whatever i can afford was getting your septum painful no it was not painful at all but it was uncomfortable because like i could hear my skin tearing on the inside of my nose and it was just like Ugh. what inspired you to do youtube um nothing really i don't know it's like i guess other youtubers i don't know that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and if you had like a question you wanted to know about me that that got answered i will see you in the next video